Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Super Sim series. A series in The Sims 4 where we try to get all the careers, get all the aspirations complete, earn all the skills, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Now, Carla is actually a teenager, uh, but since 4 Rent came out, there have been a couple of child-only activities, or at least one, namely the marbles. So I've decided that we will do the marbles milestone, but we're using a clone of Carla. So this is Carla Eternal Jr. And she is, oh, she actually doesn't like fruitcake. Oh, well, that's interesting because her older self does. So we are just trying to get some different buffs here so that we can win a game of marbles against our sister Renee who is also a clone and where did you get that from? Okay I didn't know that there was any mac and cheese here maybe you had it in your inventory? All right and all of these teenagers that are here are going to be my partners for the cheer competition so Basically, we are trying to get their fitness up and I need to actually feed them. So, okay, no, no, no. Why do you, why is there food? I thought there was no food. Oh, she did finish the food. Okay. She grilled something and I was like, why are you programming on the computer? It's because she actually finished the food on the grill. Okay. So everyone can come here and get something to eat. And then we're going to see if we can play a game of marbles. And there's no light out here. I need some light. Okay, this is actually dependent on motor skill. So hopefully Carla should be able to win. Although it doesn't look like she's doing very well. Okay, and Carla won her first game at marbles. I wonder if there is another milestone when you play for keeps. Well, we've passed Endurance Racing Expert, so we can do the Endurance Racing Master next time. Okay, we did not place in the Master Competition, <laughs> so that's not surprising. Butterscotch needs some more skills. Butterscotch, go to sleep. Why is the one going to sleep the one that is not tired? Go to sleep, Butterscotch. Your energy is poor. Okay, this time we're playing for keeps. So I don't know if you get a different milestone for that. Probably not. And I think for Hopscotch, the teenagers and adults can actually participate as well. So I don't think that that will be a problem for Carla, the original Carla, to get. So we have the original Carla working on her horse competitions right now and training up the horses but she actually has normal skin now or at least a natural skin tone and we are going to only use natural skin for her for right now based on one feedback I got in the comments but at least I got one response and then Carla Jr. is going to have the blue skin just so we can keep them separate when they both grow up. And we're not going to be doing anything with Carla Jr. once she has finished her marbles things. Alright, so Carla won for keeps. And she supposedly has a new marble. And I don't really see... Um, El Bandito's treasure, maybe? I, I really don't think she has a new marble. Well, she was playing with someone in her household, so... Probably she didn't get a new marble, especially since they both had the same ones. And I also don't see a new milestone. Okay, well, we can just forget about that for now. And maybe now we can try hopscotch. I obviously did not know how to play hopscotch as a kid. This is not how I played the game. <laughs> They're basically throwing it and it lands on a random one. The way that I played it is that we put the rock on the first one and then the second one and then the third one. You know, we placed it. We didn't just throw it on <laughs> a random one. So, 
Yeah, we didn't have to do that. And we also didn't have to pick it up on our way back, which is what they're doing. On the way back, they pick up the rock, sometimes while standing on one foot. I don't know. I just probably didn't play it right when I was a kid. Oh, she lost. Okay, did he get a milestone for that? Because he has no milestones. It will actually be easier to see it on him. No, I don't see a milestone for winning Hopscotch. So we actually don't have to do that one. I don't know how Carla could lose, though. She has, like, all of the buffs. And her, well, her fitness is maxed, but so is his now because we're in a tiny home. So he actually maxed his fitness. And his muscle composition is probably close to max. So, yeah, I guess they're pretty much evenly matched for this particular activity. Well, we're just focusing on the horses right now. And Carla Jr. and Renee Jr. have actually moved out. Oh, wow, we got gold place in the Western Pleasure Master. I did not expect that. She doesn't even have the complete skill. I think she's level 7 and she needs to be level 9. But I guess that's our first master win. Oh, we actually got gold in the show jumping as well. Well, Butterscotch, that's two masters. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to place in the ultimate, but we need to finish all of the masters, I think, before you can even participate in the ultimate. Well, Stephanie came over and now she's leaving, but I'm not sure if she's going to make it because... She's a vampire and she's burning in the sun. You have an umbrella. Why are you still burning? It's going to take you forever to walk to the edge of the lot. And I'm afraid you're going to pass away before you make it. Okay, she made it. All right. So at least we didn't kill her on accident. The only skill I'm really not sure how to raise quickly is temperament. I'm not sure if there's anything that you can do to raise that quickly. Mainly, if you queue up any of the interactions that involve temperament, it seems like they cancel each other out and they can't be queued as easily. All right, Butterscotch, out of the house. I'm going to have to lock this for horses because, unfortunately, what happens is they come inside and then I can't mount them and ride them outside. So you guys are no longer in allowed inside the house. Oh, I finally got a dragon fruit out of this. Okay, so finally, Carla was fired from the barista career. So she has that milestone. We no longer have to worry about getting fired from a job. Okay, we're going to follow everyone to school today. And we're going to request a science fair. I think... I think it is Rhonda that can request the science fair because she's actually a part of the computer team. Let's just send everyone inside though because it is really pouring outside. Why are you going outside here? Go inside to chat. I don't understand why I have to go back outside in order to chat. I need you to introduce yourself to one of the teachers. Why are you going outside? It's like wherever you are when you click to start the discussion is where she has to go in order to continue the discussion. And it's just ridiculous because I don't want you out here. I think it's this idiot who keeps being mean to everyone. Okay, request science fair. Please request a science fair so that we can get that checked off of our list of things that we've done as a teenager. Now, Carla didn't request the fair, but it doesn't really matter because she can participate in it even though someone else requested it. Quit insulting people, Darsh. Go away. And now it, I didn't even have a chance to request the science fair because it's already time to get ready for class. Okay, well, it looks like she requested it. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay. Okay, don't chat. She's going to get you in trouble if you're... Well, she or he? I guess this actually is probably a male. All right. The hair wasn't obvious at first. I, oh, great. We have an erratic principle. You should not be allowed to shower in the rain at a high school or while there are teenagers on the lot. You're, 
I guess you can't take your clothes off in front of children or toddlers, but for some reason, teenagers are okay. Sims, it is not okay. Now, I'm not sure if there are different science fairs because there's the chess team and I'm not sure what kind of fair they can request. Maybe they can't actually request one. There's already a cheerleading one and a football team one. Maybe I should see if there is additionally a chess one. I don't think that there is, though. Okay, so Drama Club and Scout is... Scout is from Seasons and Drama Club is from Get Famous. Football team member and cheerleaders already have their sports day. Computer team members can request a science fair. What about chess? I don't think that there is a way to... Okay. Oh, you'll be able to request a high school science fair while you'll where you'll get to participate in a chess puzzle with other guests. I don't think I've even seen that one. I know I've seen the game jam with a computer team member, but I don't think I've seen the science fair with a chess team member. Okay, so I switched him to a chess team member, and I'm not going to request a science fair, though, because I'm not sure if that would cancel the existing one, and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to finish out the school day, however it ends, and we'll see if the science fair is any good. Of course, there's no place around here to get coffee. Oh, wait, there's coffee inside the teacher's lounge. I wonder if this is teacher only, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she can't get in there for whatever reason. It doesn't allow you to go in there. Well, uh, fine. I don't have any other place to get coffee or anything to boost my energy. So I'll just have to let it deplete, which is kind of annoying, but I guess I could take a nap. Oh, it's time to get ready for class. Forget the nap. <laughs> the teacher is wearing my outfit because I had the celebrity ability for people to show up in my outfits. I have to be really careful with Carla because she keeps getting those calls for early graduation and I'm almost clicking on okay, which is not okay. I hope I don't accidentally click that because then we will have to do a restart and replay anything we forgot to do. Stephanie, why are you here? I guess she's my neighbor, but she didn't ask to come over. I don't want a death in my front yard. Come on. Yes, you are burning in the sun. Can I send her home? No, go home. Do not die in my front yard. Okay, she's fine. Oh, we got a silver medal this time in endurance racing, but that's okay. I think that still opens up the ultimate horse competition. The only expert level we have left is barrel racing. So... We have only level six in everything except for temperament. We have level seven, which is kind of funny. Uh, this is a championship horse and butterscotch is worth 19,000 simoleons. Now we really don't need to sell her. What my goal is, is try to get her skills up high enough that she can at least place in the ultimate horse competition and I won't have to do this aspiration anymore. Butterscotch's hygiene is a little low so one of the best things for raising temperament is actually just to brush their coat and clean their hooves over and over again because it does allow you to cue those particular actions and they do last a little bit longer than most of the other ones but we're going to also work on her agility. Okay, I wonder if you cue them up multiple times if this would work because it seems like it's just ridiculous how long it takes to get the temperament up. And most of the things don't stack. I mean, you can stack them, but what will happen is once the first action completes, it will clear the rest of the cue. It looks like the brush coat and clean hooves interactions, though, won't do that. Go away, ranch hand. I want to go for a ride, but 
the ranch hand was in the way. And I've also discovered that you can encourage training and also calm them down while you're on top of the horse. Some interactions require you to get off the horse. Why are you doing the fun thing, Butterscotch? Go to sleep. My horses tend to wait until the very last minute to go to sleep. I think we're going to send everyone to school today and not follow them because I don't really have anything I need to do at school. And unfortunately, I don't have any more vacation days. Come on, Tornado. You're so close. Just level up in temperament. I know you're tired. You can sleep after you get the next level. Okay, you're level 7. All right, I'll stop bothering you now. All right, Tornado is level 7 in everything. And Butterscotch just needs jumping. All right, we got a silver medal in barrel racing. So I can now participate in the Ultimate Horse Championship, but only with Butterscotch. It's almost time for the fair, so I'm not going to do the other horse competition today with Tornado since we have more time with her. We'll just do a quick facial cleanse and then head over to the school for the science fair. Okay, the only thing is I'm very inspired. Could I get myself to be very focused? That might help more. I completely forgot about that. Okay, if you click on one of the tablets, it says make game jam entry. I'm not sure if any of the other items might improve my chance. I probably should have checked that earlier. Okay, I did not tell you you could make a game jam entry. Well, fine. I guess it doesn't matter because your programming is probably non-existent. I don't even think you have the programming skill. Okay, I didn't see what score I got. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. So that is unfortunate. I guess I will just submit my score. Carla is currently in first place with a superb game jam entry. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if I submit a bunch of competitions from my other sims who are not very good if I will get a more likely chance of winning. It looks like I can make another entry though. Okay, now it told me I got a score of 91. Um, but it doesn't let me submit that score. I guess I, I don't even know what my other score was. Yeah, you can only do one, but I can kind of take these tablets up so that nobody else can do it, hopefully. Okay, there's an elite jamming tablet, but I don't think that this is specific to the fair. Uh, I guess we'll just buy one anyway, just in case it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, it looks like the competition judge is about to start the judging. Um... I did not get my other one to submit his score, but it's fine. So you only have until about 8 p.m. to get your entry in. And I wish it had told me what my score was before I submitted it, but unfortunately it did not. So who won? I'm not sure. Carla, okay, now Carla's listening again. Is she going to take an hour to make the announcement? This is ridiculous. Oh... This happened last time. The Finchwick Fair competition result. The milk you entered just didn't shake the judge to be a winner. Please accept this participation award for trying. Check your Sims and Households inventory to find your submission. This is not a Finchwick Fair. This is on Wednesday. Why does this happen? Maybe Carla didn't win, but it said she was in first place. I think it was a mistake to make two entries for it and maybe i should disable cottage living although i think it won't let me play with the save because cottage living has already been used Ugh, this is annoying i don't know why it gives me a finchwick fair competition result instead of a high school competition result are these things just broken 
which wouldn't surprise me is probably the way it is, is this is actually broken. Oh, now it says, congratulations, Carla was placed in first. Carla must have some great programming skill. Congrats. Oh, okay. So the, the actual thing ends at 10 p.m., not at 9 p.m. That message about the cottage living thing, I don't know what it means. And actually, I don't know what you get by get it, by doing a first place placement in those fairs. Okay, it doesn't look like it's a milestone or anything. Um, I don't know if there's any unlockables for it. What? We don't have the bronze one unlocked? Oh, come on. I know we got bronze on prom. I guess we're going to have to go to prom this week. But it doesn't look like we've unlocked anything else that's new. All of these are just for reaching level three of the after school activity and then the three for prom. So there really isn't a reason to do these uh, high school events which is actually kind of disappointing. I haven't seen like a milestone or anything. Maybe there's something in Kaz that unlocks, but I kind of doubt it. I did buy the t-shirts. So now we have the computer t-shirt and the chess t-shirt. I don't think there's anything else that you can get at those little fair activity things. It's kind of annoying that they have like an award ceremony at like 8 p.m., and then they don't announce the winner until the fair ends at 10 p.m. Because it's 10, 21 p.m. in my game. And around 10 p.m. it actually said, congrats, Carla was placed in first. And yes, she has good programming skill and she was focused. So it should be like an award ceremony like they do with prom with, where the uh, prom royalty and prom jester go up. But it's not really functioning like that. It is really weird. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, whenever the paparazzi come out here to take pictures of Carla, she stops. Even though the horse is still gaining skill, it's kind of funny because she stops and waits for them to take pictures. And it, but it's actually pretty annoying. Oh, here's what we got for winning the competition for the science fair. We got a buff that is confident plus two and lasts, uh, let's see if we got it at 10 p.m. It was at least three or four hours ago. So maybe it started out as a 12 hour buff and maybe it would actually be a six hour buff since we're on a tiny home that doubles the buff. So I'm not sure, but anyway, that is kind of a lame reward for winning a science fair. Butterscotch, go to sleep. It's the middle of the night. Why do my horses never sleep? Well, I guess if I train you some more, you might sleep. Oh, both of the horse jumps are broken. Well, that stinks. Oh, no. We're losing Butterscotch. That's not fair. Carla's not even home. Graham, you couldn't wait another hour and 20 minutes until Carla was home? Um, yeah, Graham is waving to the horse who is not there because that horse is dead. Well, the ranch hand is here to say he's sorry that Butterscotch has passed. Graham! I only needed two more days to make it to the ultimate horse competition. And that really doesn't matter as much because I knew I was probably going to have to do that with Tornado. But Carla's not home. I don't think you could give him a death flower anyway since it's a pet. What? What? <laughs> okay. Grim is taking a picture because Butterscotch is a championship horse. And that was kind of weird. I don't think I've ever seen a horse pass away like that. I thought... They passed away like a regular animal. They didn't fall over. That is really, really weird because that's the way a sim passes out, not a pet. Although I did get a horse grade. So, well, there is that. RIP Butterscotch, we will miss you. And Grim is just watching my TV like nothing happened. 
and then everybody is going to be sad. Well, I guess we'll start with barrel racing because Tornado is confident and actually only is missing one skill point for this. And we have two extra endurance skill points and one extra horse riding skill. We better get gold because I need to get gold three more times. My butler must be nosy. She keeps spying on people. Silver, come on. Well, time to go to football team sports day. Great, it's raining. Now, I'm not sure how to get the specific skill for or score for this one. I can play practice football, but I don't really get a score. And I think it's because this is kind of random. Oh, I don't know. It, it, it's just like they throw the football back and forth, but I'm not seeing a football go back and forth. Come on, guys. Maybe it would be better if I had my own football. <laughs> she beamed him in the head. That's hilarious. Oh, that got a score of zero. Okay. Oh, darn it. Now I'm sad. And now I'm energized. And now I'm sad. And now I have the emotion bomb. Oh, that sucks. All right. So what is the most beneficial moodlet? Maybe energy? Okay. That was a score of 30. Still terrible. Oh, come on. This is not going to get rid of my morning a horse. I'm going to have to waste my moodlet silver. I think I'm only going to get one more chance at this because if you don't submit your score soon enough, you basically don't get a score. Why am I missing the football? I have max fitness and so does he. Well, it was a score of 60. I guess it's not terrible. But it is kind of dumb. Okay, currently she's in first place. But I think what happens is it's cumulative. So maybe the first time I got 30 points, the second time I got 30 points. And then if I did it again, I would get another 30 points. That's my guess. But I needed to finish it before 8 p.m. Because at 8 p.m. she starts handing out the competition notes and I don't think you can submit a score after that. Yeah, it's 8 p.m. and everyone gathers around here and takes notes and it says that they're watching the judge make the announcement. But then you don't get the actual announcement of who won until the fair is over at 10 p.m. and you get some kind of fake announcement at 9 p.m. about the Finchwick Fair. I'm not so sure with this one. Last time I had a score of 91 and I did win the Science Fair, but a score of 60 doesn't seem like it's enough to win. Yeah, and there's the stupid Finchwick Fair result that is actually invalid. So maybe if I go home again, it will again announce me as the winner. Because last time I think I didn't get announced as the winner because I stuck around for the end. Well, let's go get the t-shirts. Oh, I already have those. Why are you going all the way over there? Is she in the school for some reason? Where is she? What are you doing all the way over here? You can only practice with other football team members, apparently. If you're not a football team member, though, you can practice and get points anyway, even if you don't have the school activity. So I think that was the problem last time, Oops. <laughs> is that I actually wasn't getting a score. Oh, so basically Carla was in first Okay, I only got four hours for that one. But basically, Carla was in first place, and you just had to wait until 10 p.m. for the announcement. Yeah, we didn't really get that for the cheerleading competition. So that's the only one we haven't been to, that and the chess one. Trash triumph from trashing rival photo op. Gabriel succeeded in creating a mess on their rival's photo op spot. Long live mischief. I think that they should have made more gameplay around school rivalry and it's just something that I feel like you don't explore enough unless you're looking for it. 
And most of the aspirations don't walk you through things like that. It's just something that you have to discover on your own and you may not even know it exists. It's kind of like people can rush through the gameplay without even really knowing the game. Where do you think you're going? Sometimes they just stop taking the exam and it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Carla's still taking hers and she should be the quickest at finishing. So I think that's just a bug. Okay, Carla is done now. I can accept that Carla gets done early. But I, the thing is, I don't know. He got caught. And now he has detention, maybe. Yeah, he has detention after school. And I don't want to serve detention. So basically, you have to take the exam twice. After they drop the activity, you have to quickly click on the board and click take it again. Because for whatever reason, I don't think they actually finish. I think it's just that the game drops that interaction. Hey, this could be fun. Cynthia Young wants to go to the prom with Carla as friends. Does she want to go? Sure, we're going to prom. We can go as friends. Nice outfit, Cynthia. Well, not sure what happened there. I think it's because one of my household has served detention after school and the rest of them do not. I tried to leave at 3 p.m. and the game crashed. So we are replaying the lunchtime and exam <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm going to do for after school. I want to go home. I don't want to serve detention. Stewart! Stuart, why did you get detention? Now I'm stuck here until what, 5 p.m.? Yeah, 5 p.m. No, I don't want to be stuck here. It also cleared all of my buffs for whatever reason. No, don't go chat with the principal. Take exam. What is wrong with you, Carla? Okay, we still got the invite from Cynthia Young to go with her as friends to the prom. Sure. Okay, we said yes last time. We'll say yes again. Okay, the school day is over except for you. And we are not going to serve detention. We're going to leave school early. Okay, we'll try Western Pleasure this time with Tornado. Okay, we got a gold medal. That's gold medal number three. Okay, I only had two members of my household come. Oh, and it looks like we only have two of them participating. Great. I canceled, unfortunately, the cheer activity for this one, so it looks like they're just warming up. Okay, let's cancel that. I'm not sure if it's working. Yeah, Rhonda got three, and Carla got zero. Let's try this again. It's like, why are you just warming up and shaking your pom-poms? Do something. You have maximum fitness skill. Oh, She's very inspired now. I wanted her to be confident. And for some reason, the confident buff wore off. Even though I'm pretty sure it said that it had like eight hours left. Quit bouncing. Do a cheer. Do something. It's like pathetic. All they're doing is jumping and putting their pom poms in front of them. And she has max fitness skill. Why isn't she trying to do actual cheers? Well, we may be doing this one again because this is just pathetic and a little bit buggy. Maybe we need five people or maybe we need more than two others. <laughs> zero. A score of zero. That is ridiculous. I agree that the score is zero, but I don't know why. And they're doing it autonomously, too, which I really don't like. Maybe it's because none of them are actually cheerleaders. Oh, no. Come on. Carla's the only one that's not over there. Come on. That's not fair. Okay, well, I didn't get time to submit a score anyway. You really don't get enough time to do the competition because it's just ridiculous. It 
gives you the results at 8 p.m. and you get here at 5, so you only have three sim hours to try and organize whatever competition thing, competition thing you're going to do. And then the whole thing is not over until 10 p.m., which is another two sim hours. Why? And she takes an hour to give her a little speech. It's just ridiculous. This could have been a little bit more organized. I do not like the fact that they autonomously do it as well because they are not all in sync. Well, we are still getting scores for some reason, even though it's like the competition is over. Okay, why are you practicing agility, Tornado? You have no fun and you're very tired. Sometimes I don't get my horses. Yeah, you can play with the ball. That's fine. Now we're going to try show jumping. I think we should probably get gold, but we'll see. We're only one level short. And we got gold place in show jumping. So we just need one more gold. And then we also need the ultimate horse competition, which we could have tried today had Butterscotch not died. Well, I'm at the get together before prom and this household has a horse, but it looks like they're in Hennaford on Bagley and there's no stuff to take care of a horse with. Well, I cannot go into build mode, unfortunately. So hopefully Dusty is fine. There's no prairie grass either. Well, this is just, oh no, we, this might be horse ranch no this has to be Hennefer Hennefer on Bagley it's just a lot that I don't usually use so I'm not really that familiar with well he's not hungry anyway so he's just a little bit low on social not too much dusty we'll introduce ourselves it's a very pretty horse and now dusty is happy and it seems dusty is allowed inside the house well if you get hungry, Dusty, I do have one more berry on me. So I could give him something to eat, but I think he's full right now. Carla, quit playing games. So we're going to hook up Bristol with Stuart and see if maybe... Okay, actually, we're going to travel to prom. All right, prom is happening. My idea was to hook up someone with Stuart and see if that counted for my neighborhood confidant aspiration. I didn't get a chance to see if it worked though. And I'm going to just test something to see if maybe last time was sheer luck or if voting for someone else in your household to be prom royalty automatically makes you jester. I don't think that it does. Okay, so I'm voting for Stuart to be prom royalty. And I'm going to see if anybody else in my household gets Jester. I don't think that they will. Right, quit dancing. Just go vote. Oh, you can hide from the paparazzi in the photo booth. That's an interesting interaction. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, she looks around. She goes in and then nothing happens or it looks like, oh, okay. Is she actually taking pictures or is she just hiding? Cause I did get a confident photo already. If I get another photo booth picture, it's just another way to take a picture. Okay, no, she did not get a picture. All right, well, we have to keep ourselves from doing anything because we're too close to silver, I think. Okay, not more than one person can grab punch at a time. That's annoying. Okay, now it's the award ceremony. Okay, yeah, prom jester is Carla Eternal. Prom royalty is Yao Tua Sun. Wait, I voted for Stuart. Interesting. Okay, that is not who I voted for. And Carla got Jester again. All right, I, I don't get this. It doesn't really matter though, because she previously had Jester. 
uh, maybe Jester is determined by your mischief level. And if you get prom royalty, you cannot get Jester. So that's my only thought. Is that because Carla has the highest mischief, is that she is always voted as Jester by default. As long as no one votes for her for prom royalty. And whenever you vote for a particular sim for prom jester, they actually receive a vote for royalty instead. So, okay. Whatever. She's not having a good time either for some reason. Hey, okay, just don't gossip, okay? Because we don't want silver. We want bronze. All right. Bronze medal earned. Now, who gets the invite for the after party? Um, why can't I pick... Friends, and why can't I hit OK? Oh, that's annoying. Well, I guess we're not going to the after party. <laughs> All right, it doesn't matter. All right, well, it's the end of the week, and we have two more teen events that we haven't won. The chess fair, and then the cheerleading competition that was bugged out. So we'll try to do that next time. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.